Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to the Matei Desktop Environment. Matei is a fork of the GNOME 2 desktop using older versions of current GNOME applications, which have been rebranded and continue to be updated for security and functionality, while still maintaining the old look and feel of the applications. Because Matei is based on the age-old GNOME foundation, the desktop provides a stable and enjoyable desktop experience. Today, we'll be looking at the basics of using Matei. Matei is one of the easier desktops to pick up on the Linux platform. The desktop consists of two panels, one on the top of the screen and one on the bottom. Let's look at the top one first. On the far left of this panel is a menu to pull down your installed applications. These applications are arranged in categories. To open an application, simply hover over its category, then click its name. To the right of the Applications menu is a menu for the various folders on your computer. Here, you'll find a link to your home folder, desktop, computer, and network, as well as the options to connect to a file server and search for files on your computer. Finally, this menu allows you to reopen any recently opened files. Next is your System menu. This menu allows you to change your system-wide and user settings. If you're using Ubuntu Mate, you'll also have a link to the Welcome application, where you can find more information on Ubuntu Mate. In this menu, you also have your Control Center, a link to the Mate Desktop Help, the option to show information about Mate, as well as the options to lock your screen, log out, or shut down your computer. To the right of these menus is a link to open up your Firefox web browser, which is installed by default on many Linux distributions. You can change the application that appears here, or completely remove the link altogether. On the right side of the panel is an area for your application indicators, as well as icons for your network, Bluetooth, keyboard layout, volume, and battery. Next to that is your clock, which is in 24-hour format by default. Clicking your clock reveals a full monthly calendar. Finally, at the far right of the top panel is your power menu, allowing you to shut down or restart your computer. Now let's look at the bottom panel. At the far left, you have a button to hide all windows opened and just show your desktop. Next to that is a list of any open windows. Let's open up the file manager so we can see this in action. Right-clicking the window button gives us the option to minimize, maximize, move, or resize the window, as well as perform a number of other operations on the window. Finally, we can close the window from this menu. On the right of the bottom panel is a list of all of your workspaces, and finally, next to that, is a link to your trash can. If you would like to lock your screen, you can do so by going to the system menu, and then clicking Lock Screen. Your screensaver will appear, and your monitor will eventually turn off. To log back in, simply move your mouse to wake the screen, then type your password, and hit Enter. If you'd like to turn off your computer, you can do so by clicking the power button in the top right corner. Now, you'll be presented with a menu that allows you to shut down, restart, or suspend your computer. Mate is one of the more traditional desktops on the Linux platform, providing its users with a plethora of customization options and a desktop experience reminiscent of the classic GNOME 2 desktop environment. Feel free to explore and tweak the desktop to your liking. My name is Ben High, and I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the Matei desktop. Thank you for watching.